Hi, I'm Nigel and this is Nigel Goes to Space. Today I have a question from the dark side, quite literally, what is dark matter? The short answer is that astronomers now know that most of the universe is invisible, uh, as well as the stars and the planets and the galaxies and the gas that we can see, there's a lot of stuff we can't see, in fact there's five times as much dark matter as there is ordinary matter. So how can we know it's there if we can't see it? The answer is the gravity. Uh, way back in the 1930s, uh, a Swiss astronomer called Fritz Zwicky noticed that when you had galaxies in a cluster, because galaxies like living gregariously in, in a cluster together, they're moving around each other by their gravity, but they're moving much faster than they ought to. In fact, they ought to be flying apart from each other. So it's not just the gravity of the galaxies themselves, something else we can't see is holding them in. And he called it dark matter. Uh, for a long time, nobody really knew what to make of that idea. But in the 1970s, it was followed up by an American astronomer called Vera Rubin. And she was looking at ordinary galaxies like our Milky Way, spirals, and they swirl around like that in a stately fashion. But again, she found that the outer parts of those galaxies were going much faster than they should. They should actually be whizzing off into space. So again, within a galaxy, something was holding it together. So there's a lot of strands of evidence that say, as well as our ordinary matter, there is dark matter. And it's not just out there, it's actually here. It fills a whole galaxy. Think of a galaxy as having a soup of dark matter. And that means it's actually going through this room. It's here. There is dark matter actually here, going through me all the time. And astronomers think there's probably some kind of a subatomic particle. So think of things like electrons and protons, but actually ones we can't see directly. And they've got names like WIMPs. A WIMP is a weakly interacting massive particle or an axion. So these are hypothetical particles. We haven't discovered them yet. But the interesting thing is they could actually outnumber all the real matter that we know in the universe. If there's anything that's puzzling you about the universe, whether it's visible or invisible, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer. And subscribe to Nigel Goes to Space on the Naked Science channel.